like like a mast on a hill the Lord shall raise your family you may be in a terrible situation praise and worship breaks the chain that you don't deserve you shall sit in an office you don't deserve somebody said that's me this is Mama Joel yes welcome Mama Joel Mama Joel, Oli Rotia, Okizan Katonda Ekaya Solo Kora. Two of you will stay, Charlie, one, some better one. By name, come here as well. Never some come and pad dog from Okimi Lawano. The Simi Langa Koa no, which toot. Kuchanga and Bao, Simi Langa Koa no Katuti. Since I was born, I've never stood here at the pulpit. Na ye, na ge na ne mfumbiwa. But I got married. Come, spent ten years in marriage. Zenga sina dem peke yezade. I didn't have a child. Ne mbera wo, holvani malenta niko kufune mbuto. Ne mufamu mbuto sato. I began conceiving and they were miscarried. Ne ndozi wa mukama yadi agamba, ujakuza kwa no baka mukamu. Probably God was in. They were miscarried. Because I'm a born again, we continued praying. We, we continued praying. My family members are born again. They prayed for me. No, no, Jaja, I didn't go. I'm going to serve the Kuba. Balokole, no man will miss you. I'm going to serve the. They used to pray for me. But now they do a little more. But one day, God gave me a pregnancy. I conceived. It disturbed me at two and three months. I went for a scanning at SAS. When I went, checking me, I had four children in my bed, in my pregnancy. I told God I prayed that you And I pray you help me carry the cross. I stopped working. I stopped working. I stopped working. I stopped working. I work. Ne business is angel. Ne zibera wo. Rakumani chapa ntume nko saba lokole. Ne bazira ninga. Ne business is angel. God helped us. I carried the pregnancy up to seven months. I couldn't support it anymore. They were just supporting me. Until I got an obstetrician who operated me and brought other children at seven months. And I gave birth to them when they were premature. They stayed in the incubator. I stayed in the hospital for two months. I waited for the kept the children. God took one. And I remained with Suri. Nembale tano wa pastor vgembenga ba mieze sato bali ba to three months to pastor nembale tayo pastor nemugamba nsa bila koko ba na bangewa kule nembale pastor to pray for them katikuwa liko munga inechi tuli kumuti mo no muangu zidiotham one had a problem with the heart mukama na nyambe chituli nechi ziba nemba msabira and God helped me it cleared chituli nechi ziba it cleared. It rained now. 
Today I've come to testify and give thanks to the Lord. Another thing, those who don't have babies to trust the Lord, trust God because when you're born again, not only just the you might pretend to be born again. You can pretend, but your heart. You have children. You have children. I used to employ those who are having children. I have an employee who has now two children. children. <laughs> children. Those who don't, don't go to witchcraft Get good doctors and they will tell you your problem. It is good to have children. I wasn't looking like this. I feel okay the way I look. Come on, somebody shout for our audience on TV. Wow. We love you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to share with us briefly something simple. Are you a sheep or a goat? Are you a sheep or a goat? A sheep or a goat? I want to hear the answer. Are you a sheep? Oh, a God. Now, Jesus yes, has sheep, Adinandiga. not God. Simbuzi. So, if you are in Jesus, Katibobamu, yes, clap for yourself, for you qualify to be a sheep. Weku bide munga lukubanga kwe wetuogerera orindiga. But there's a few things God do and sheep does. Na yu waliwe bintu embuzi nendiga yebikola. Someone say, be sober. Look at First Peter five eight. Peter Come with me to First Peter five eight. It says, Wagamba. Read with me those who can. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion. Looking for someone to devour. Timuberebe gendereza mumiti majamwe kubango mulabe sitani auruguma ngayeto lola wanonewali ngem pologoma okunonya guanaria. So the devil is looking for someone. Sitani yeto lola itabuli wamu aina guanonya. And bad enough, atecha kabi he catches some. So please raise up your right hand and say he will never catch me. I will never be that someone. But the Bible wants you to watch out, not to just pray. Now, note what the Bible is saying. He's roaring like. The word like changes the entire situation. The word like means. He is not a liar. Echigambecho aulugumanga chimujako kubere mpologoma chitegeza si mpologoma. He roars like aulugumanga auluguma choka nga. He can try to scare you. Asobologeza kukutisa. And if you don't know his tricks and tactics, erabu ubato mani bukodiobwe na bukala bakala babwe. You might think he is a liar. O inzo loozanti mpologoma yinini. We have only one lion. Tuine mpologoma emu yoka. I will repeat. 
it. There is only one lion. It is the lion of Judah. What is the lion, the lion of Judah's name? Lireka Ninawi. What is his name? So, he roars like Aulukumanga. Class, he roars. Class, one, two, three, enter. Whatever I get a mania, Mizumja, Abijamuga, and Bissava, and I told to you get one, two, three, go. Is he a lion? We all know he's a cat with a microphone. So he wants to scare you. Hallelujah. Now I want you to say this word after me. Say, be sober. One left, no one right. Hallelujah. You need to know, church, that the devil can cunningly steal your soul. So many people today, they take a Christianity as a trend. It is a style in Kampala. I know so many people here. I know so many people, some of my friends, some are here, some are not. They come to church, but they sleep not on a holy bed. And if you ask them, what is your number on prayer request, sister? Prayer request to your Papula Church is What is it that you seek God day and night for? Bulaza Church Kuru. What is What is first on your priority list? You will wonder Capital. at what they pray for. Capital. A motoka. A car. I need to travel nations. If you are here and you are sleeping not on a holy bed, let me remind you there is two types of beds. One that is not holy, another that is holy. Most of you have had sex. Not on a holy bed. But you are Christians. Let me ask you. What if you didn't wake up? Where would you end up? You must have a big prayer request. That before a car. Before a house, I need to stop being a white tomb. I know so many people. Even me. We play white tomb. The Bible says you Pharisees. I hope I'm not wrong. But it, somewhere he says, Wagamba. you behave like a white storm. White. Uh -huh. It looks good on the outside. But inside, it keeps maggots. And most of you here, you are exactly playing a white tomb. But in there, you never forgive. You hate. You have three girlfriends. But you need to wake up today and say, the devil is roaring. He's, he wants to steal my soul. Be sober. Don't be a goat. Be sheep. Let me speak some wisdom in your head. The Bible says a wise man 
carefully picks his friends. Alonda bulungi ba sembe zanga mikwano je. Hello. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 4:9. Two, two are better than one. For when one falls, the other lifts him up. But woe unto a man who travels alone. For when he falls, nobody lifts him up. Now look at Mitchell. Do you know that most of you, all the people in your life, they are all don't be angry, one, two, three, enter as foolish as you. You need somebody who helps you stay. People who ask questions. Where are you taking that beer? How come you are on phone at 2 a.m.? I've spent two Sundays. I don't see you coming to church. You need people that can ask you. Are you sure you are marrying that guy? How come you are no longer coming to church? Some of you, you never never be in a church for two years. You need to learn. Go and make homework. The importance of a local church. Some of you, especially girls, you have one card before you say I do it is your bargaining power but you are dating a guy who has drawn his line clear you coming to church you coming to church but you can't stop anybody who doesn't honor my God to hell with your proposal. Draw your line clear. Before you marry me, you cannot take me with my God. And my people are church people. Ruth said, Ruth Yagamba, your People, they are my people. Your God. Everybody say God and people. Uh-huh. Before you take a job, find out who is their God. And who are their people? Because the devil is cunning. Peace of advice. It is better you live in the world. Have sex. Have fun. Drink yourself to hell. Sit and lie. So that when you go to hell, even the devil says, I was expecting you. Than wasting your time in church. But you never transform. You must start to feel bad. A believer is like a house under construction. A house that takes long to be done. Some of you came when you came a liar Jesus calls you to come the way you are but just as a builder builds a house every day changes something and they know how to say we have now shattered the house we have now roofed now we are putting doors that's why you came with demons you came with fornication but 
that someone can testify that now your fornication has reduced you now struggle with secrets but God is working on it as well you must be sober do you know why? Because you can sing church songs all the way to hell. How many times have we waited the people here that they are already pregnant? And the problem is you have so many churches to go to. So the preacher will not rebuke you. Now look at me, poor Wilson. I hate hurting anybody. Two. We, we are buying church land. I'm not going to start asking, questioning about your two wives. I will just welcome you every day. And how are we going to start rebuking your drunkenness? Fight for your soul. That's why I have a friend, a member of our church. He came to church with 10 cigarettes. But he died. But by the time he died, he had one or a half. But every day he came to me. Pastor! I now take only eight go, sticks. Go, go. And one time he was falling oh. in the loose smoking. And the saints called me to witness. <laughs> Owners of Jesus, come and behold your believer. Come and see your Christian. And when I met him, I asked him, he, now? he said, I now take four. Every day something must change about you. Your wiseacking changes. Your fornication goes. But what is wrong with you? When when you put your hands and ask God to forgive you. You must feel bad. Do you know that feeling guilty? Feeling guilty after doing sin. It is God's gift to a sinner. Do you some people sin and they do not have any conviction stealing somebody's wife and you don't feel bad it's very very terrible let the abnormal remain abnormal. Not tithing is bad. Sleeping. Sleeping. You need to clean that path. Now, most of you, this is what you say. I'm going to work. <laughs> and then marry later. Now, why are you with that girl? Home. Why? Why you and houses and wealth will come later. Do you know why? Let me give you a verse. First Thessalonians 5 6. And I'm not quite. Don't, don't take me for that, please. 
Mwichimanyi tu tutaka no kuda yo musande ba msukuru ba tunyonyole what is the salvation? I now realize we need to go back to the Sunday school to be told about salvation really well. Nzenyimira wana aboluganda. When I stand here, abante ka ku TV ba anteke ko na yentu se chisira okubere nnyo mu Kampala muno ngo bloko na babu ntabu de si chabumanyi. I am at the point, at some point, when I'm confused I about the salvation. Truth, Bishop. I was here on this stage, and what? I was praying in a thousand blessings, and I said, Lord, teach me again. Why did you come? I was here on this stage, and I was praying in a thousand blessings, and I said, Lord, teach me You're a believer, but you can abuse you can insult everybody at home and then walk to church right after. Sukuka. Wake up. You watch pornography. And you are a believer. And you determine never to pay your tithe. You tell of people that you help in your house. You tell of the people you help. We are forgetting all about salvation, friends. And you know why we forget? Right here. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be alert. The Bible says if a demon is chased, it goes and comes back to check the house. And when it, comes, it comes back to check, it finds it empty. It means when you got saved, the Holy Spirit took up your heart. God inhabited your life. Now, now if you listen to the extreme grace gospel, I believe I'm saved by grace. I wouldn't be preaching here if it wasn't God's grace. But people who say, once saved or is saved, even when you sin, even when you sin, Theologically, if one demon is chased, then Jesus saves me, sits in my heart. The Bible says, it goes, comes back, it peeps. If the house is empty, if it is empty, it goes. Brings seven other demons and sits there. Grace gospel. Empty. When he inhabited your life, you do certain things that chase him. And some of you say you're believers, but Jesus is no longer with you because you don't pay your debts. The people that lend you Say the, say the following words, I will never again learn to a believer. And you claim heaven every day, you need to check yourself again to see whether he's still there. And and some of you never forgive. You decided never to forgive. But you have all the praise songs. My heart says yes. <laughs> says yes. Says yes. Says yes. Are you oh my God, you heal on the day, my refuge. Refugee, wow. Wait, I got. 
Oso kolongo semunda Oli mufana nenta nengeru Aburuga nanga nange muendi Walike mikono gamba on sasire a yes Say forgive me Jesus Katateka ambalabuli And let me warn you Bible yegambi The Bible says Let us not be like others Kale tuleme kubera anga abalala Abeba fu Katika ambabuli dobu zivu wa pastor Wetu waka sanga abe kampala Abe chivoga ne jinja simanyi Na ifa abe kampala Aba sumo minaba tuwa wa kutivye masaka Mutusabide ko and let me tell you the problem we face as city pastors. Those Bishop, of you, we have a problem in Kampala. Do you know Put it on him. Zimu Jiku Gambi. Rekena wakuli diza. Gamba mina cha udira. Ngate temu cha njega. Every time that's it. Tukuvu. Yes, we are fire. And holy beds. Udira. Kamba wina chitu chetu wakafune Kampala. The problem we have in the city. We have so many churches. Oh. It's good, but then I imagine we had only one church and everybody went to the same. We have so many churches now, you're confused as a believer. You're, you're crazy like hey. a grasshopper going everywhere. You're a grasshopper kind of believer at the moment. I have four pastors. You know what TV? You know what TV? You know what Sunday? Now I'm the Sunday pastor. You need to sit down. God honors you to remain committed to a church. A place where they know you. How you fight. What you are fighting for. Your weaknesses. Some of you want to look a star all the time. And that is going to kill you. You want to be in a place. Where the makeup is good. They don't know your past relationships. They don't know your weaknesses. And the moment they rebuke your mistake. You Say, okay, I'll leave. I'll leave your place. I have another fire speaking church. Around. That's not bad. But you must have a home church. And say, I and my children. You and your children. And listen to what Timothy says. Timothy. Paul told him a word. As he was trying to become a star. Are you with me? Are you you need to grow gray hair but still in the house of the Lord you must, you must have a Bible war unto you if you have none but every Sunday you go to church you are going to feel bad about not having a Bible. You do not have it and you're not convicted to buy it at any point in your life. But you have all the nice dresses for Sunday service. You know the songs that we sing. The songs that we sing. The songs that we sing. The headlines, the word of God that saved us. So are you a God? Let me tell you about goats. When you call them, 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 when 
You ask them about the so many boyfriends, you will not see them the following Sunday. Some of you, we pastor you, but in fear, we dread you, we fear you. You glorified yourself too much. And, and we just can't afford to warn you about not paying your time. There is no perfect church. There is no perfect pastor. You need to be in a place and get gray hair. Some of you are here. You are living. Don't That's why you do not contribute towards the building. Bring something for the church land. You're on the go. If you go to a church where your pastor can't call you to advise you and warn you on a few things, leave that church. Some of you pick on a pastor that is your fellow foolish man. They support you in every sin. The Bible says you're not children of darkness. You are children of light. You are a child of day. You are a child of day. You are not a child of night. Where is it? But since we belong to that day, let us be self controlled. Putting on faith and love. Have you heard? Have you heard? You are a child of day. You are not a child of night. You no, know, Paul says Paul that man left me in prison. He left me suffering. Because he fell in love with worldly stuff at the expense of God's will. Some people here, you like the night than that day. And I don't mean that night. What I mean is, you like darkness things. You go to comedy nights. It's not bad. I like comedy too. But in the city, there is only vulgar comedy. You will never listen to any decent when you become born again you cease to be a God certain words do not interest we no longer ears. laugh at some things sorry it's not funny Come me stupid, come me fool, but you can't speak such a dirty word to me. I was a little bit of 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 a little you will not clap enough, I know. Call it pray, pride, but I'm a believer. Timoseo. Timothy was bragging around. Paul called him to himself. 
The spirit that is in you. Paul was Timothy's mentor. And Timothy was on, a, on fire for Christ. And Paul told him, Go ahead. Fan into flames. Don't be discouraged. Don't be disrespected. Do not be discouraged. Don't, don't, don't preach the word in season and out of season. Everyone listen to this. Listen. Three things are told to your pastor to be preached to you. Everybody sit upright and listen. Posture is worship. Good. Pastor is expected to do three things. A pastor should do. Correct. Rebuke. Encourage. That's why the church now in Kampala Bishop, it does the last bit. Encourage. Thank you for coming. You build. Since it doesn't matter, I see you. It is in the Bible, encourage. But we are forgetting two others. Correct. Rebuke. Correct. Rebuke. It is the job of your father to correct you, to rebuke you, and to encourage you. Truth be told, some churches they just do the rebuke. <laughs> and after a year, she came and said, Service was full of tears. We cried. Sin. And three more other years. Service How oh. was service? Nobody will inherit the kingdom. Uh -huh. We just shouldn't mean. just rebuke. That we should collect and we should encourage. Give Jesus praise if you are understanding. Don't be a goat. I got, I got a few minutes. Listen. You give instruction. I'm supposed to tell you, Mtee you can't marry two. Thank you for coming to the Lord. But, but you can't marry two. Boys. Boys. I want to see you grow. How many people watched a movie called Boys to Men? I want to see you who came here a boy playing around with girls. I want to see you grow. I want to see you grow into a man. I want to see you come to church. I want to see your wife and kids. I want you to stop being like others. Gamba like others. Build your mother a house. That is the intention of salvation. To make you a better man. To make you a better woman. Give God praise with a hand clap. Repent of your sin. Don't call what is sin good. See it. 
feel bad about it repent sleeping with a person without a ring on your finger it is wrong divorce is wrong if everybody is doing something it doesn't make it right that the word is wrong some dress codes are wrong they don't worship God it doesn't matter whether everybody is doing it. This is not a club. This is not a club. This is a house of God. Sisonga chapei kwe kana wa sisonga ba mekaba tirina eno sikirabu eno nyuma ya mukama. Learn to be kind and gentle. Yigo kubo muntu wa mulunji akwata balalo mulunji. Become better. Bero muntu wa chuka fuko mulunji. If your clothes came here. Biteta ibo iba biya jabiri eno. Let them go down every after service. Sikati yeyo juwamfu ye kubuli service ye gwa. After one year. Somebody say longer, not shorter. When, let me tell you one day you get married, say amen. And you shall do whatever you want to do. But oh, now, distinguish between church and bar. Some of you, you are going to be I know some of you are to be here. I know some of you are to be here. Don't a goat. The Bible says, do not rejoice over me on my end. For when I fall, the Lord shall lift me. Even the person told me, I ever slid and fell, but I was up again. Some of you fell and stuck where you fell. And your life, your mouth says you never, at, uh, you never fell at any point. And the Bible says, the spirit that is within you. You know Abortion is bad, not just physically, but even spiritually. If you've done abortions, stop it and rewrite your name in the book of life. Enough is enough. How do you differentiate a goat and a sheep? The more you rebuke them, the more they want to become better. The more they mention their sin, the more they break their clothes and cry like David. Goats! Goats! Some of you, you love titles that, that, that you even forgot salvation. Gwani! What's your name? Mulokori. I'm a believer, born again. Woe unto you if you fail to make it to heaven. Make it. And Jesus was asking, who is your neighbor? The, they, they ask Jesus who is my neighbor and he told them the good Samaritan story a pastor a Levite some of you even in your very own house there is someone whose shoe or shirt shirt she badly needs a new shoe. But you come to church and leave that need. God wants you to stop and give this kid food. Someone will say, I'm not a God. Come on, louder. She interrupted me, but I'm about to make a few points here. Look at these pastors. Abasumba. The spirit that is in you, Timothy. Now this is Timothy. Oh, no, Timothy. 
who later became a new pastor. As he was busy preaching, Paul said to him, Paulo Yamugamba, Timothy, Timoseo, that fire you have, it has not started with you. I have been here long enough. It means that Timo, Paul had pastored the entire family for generations. I want you to come with me. Yeah. Sit upright and listen. He said, You received that fire when I laid hands on you. Point. Not everybody should lay hands on your head. Because you need to learn what they call transfer of spirits. He said, that when he laid hands on Timothy, Timothy received something. What is you receive? You need to have a church. A trusted well. Not every new church, not every church, not every preacher, not every sermon. Come on. Sibuli kanisa, sibuli mubuli, sibuli injiri, inti olinoji uliriza. You need to develop a character of having a local church. O ino kubala empisa, e yokufune kanisa, joite ye waka. A place where they know your story. E chifu weba kumanyi, weba manye bikufako. Go, some of you, the moment you are hurt in the choir. Abamu kumoluku nenyako mu choir. I don't understand the ushers. You leave. Stand a prophetic Bishop, office in Uganda. The prophetic office in Uganda. Uganda. There is one out of ten that is true. Most of the prophets actually true prophets. You need to pray for revive. Bagagawade. Their churches flourish within months. Raj, you have become too lazy. You now want someone to pray for you. You now want somebody to fast for you. You just take your head. Nabi, on Nabi you just take your head to be prayed for. You don't need water. You don't need rice. You need faith. As small as a mustard seed. Faith. 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 Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. How much faith? As small as a mustard seed. In your bedroom. Without a prophet. God can hear you. In your car. God can hear you. As you are walking. God can hear you. The Bible says. These signs. Shall follow. Believers. Not prophets. Not bishops. Not you, no, not pastors. Believers. You also, if you are a believer, you can perform miracles. With your hands open. In those hands, you can lay them on your sister. You can lay them on your brother. And they get a miracle. Oh, yes, you can. You are a believer. Doctor Proper Goya Kaloko, what you did? You too. 
Nawe. Osobola. You can tell somebody come here. You have AIDS. I'm going to pray for you. And then they say, You as who? I don't have a title. But I'm a believer. You can lay hands in your living room and tell that house in my house my children will be the presidents. Lay hands on them. Lay hands on your business. Business yo Stop making. Come here. Come here. No, no, talk again. So not everyone lays hands on you. Another Pastor Timothy. But not only Timothy. Look. Now that was second. That is second Timothy. Listen. Look. This young Timothy. Timothy. Pastor Pussy's Timothy. He doesn't say. Oh wow. You started. No, he said no. Your, your faith. It reminds me. Because I was also the pastor of your grandmother. You see. The faith in you first lived. Parents listen. Parents listen. Don't, don't. Pastor Paul says. Musumba Paul Agamba. I love your man. No mutonga zeku. I zeku church. I like a lot of ways. On amuga. Mmm. On zeju kiza. On mani na di musumba wano. Nenda boku kiza kwa jajau. And I saw your grandmother's faith. Paul was her pastor. Your grandmother gave birth to your mother. Mama Your grandmother was Lois and your mother Eunice. I'm persuaded. The same fire your grandmother had. The same fire your mother had. The same fire your mother had. Even it is coming to the grandson. Clap your hands as if you have faith. It means the entire family, family was raised in the same church. Pastored by the same pastor. Laid hands by one hand. One man. Over generations. Now parents Success without a successor It is not success Why do you leave your kids at home? Teach your children the ways of God So I can stand here and say Oh Ben Pastor Ben he was here. He served on this stage. Then Pius. Pius. Then Pius' son. But why do you only be a believer for a man? Why do you believe like you only came for sand, sand kind of faith? If you came for a car that is sand. If you came for a car that is sand. Tell the difference between what's important and of less importance. That's how you will grow. Thank you. Finally. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you. Thank you.
Who lays hands on you, ask your neighbor. Where do you take your head to be laid hands on? By you take your heads to be laid hands on everywhere. I want to see gray hair. Quote me well. This message has nothing to do with you becoming a member of this church. I'm not blowing this my own trumpet. This message is about your spirit. Settling. Let us see a boy turn into a man. A man turn into a husband. A husband turn into a great father. A grandfather. A father. Let me see you grow spiritually like a house under construction. Some of you are now mad. I know I've made quite a number of enemies today, but glory to God. So the last verse, Matthew 25. Uh, if you sleep on an unholy bed you have children of it may God forgive you today may he give you an opportunity to make well your mess listen how many people we are talking about sheep and God last verse when the Son of Man comes in glory, all the angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. Jesus is coming back pause, soon. Pause. Your children, I admired your kids, Bishop. They serve in church. Where are your kids? Where are they? No wonder they are going to become gay. Before you choose a school for your child, find a school that shall not just be academic. Those are going to be stupid people, corrupt people. Find a school that shall not just be academic. Those are going to be stupid people, corrupt people. Let a sister wo. bring your child to church because heaven and earth shall everything shall pass. But on your deathbed, if you have if you have one minute to die, and your kids ask you, Dad, what is your last word? You shall start to yap with sand. I took you to school. I educated you. <laughs> it's good. The Bible says the wise man leaves an inheritance for his children. But you can't guarantee your kids of a future. You can't guarantee them. Because in this life, there are some things that degrees cannot take away. That money cannot take away. My brother Ivan wouldn't have died. But all you do, you spend all 
All your time pursuing money. You forget the soul. People attacked me on Facebook. By the way, that video is very old. We, are, we speak prophetically. We didn't know. But one thing you can tell your kids. The God I taught you. Will make you a success. I can't guarantee. freedom. Wait, go Bishop, correct me. Did Joshua first go home to inquire from his kids whether they should serve the Lord? Joshua just said, for me and in my house, the kids just had later that their father has decided as long as you are still under my roof, we will worship the God. Make sure you teach your children God. Finally. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Ah. What happens when the rich, our brothers, die? I, I didn't want to look oh. at the body, but he was well well prepared. I looked in that casket of the professor's coffin. Mukofini ya professor. Everything was intact. He was okay. He was okay. The eyes are okay. The body is fine. Nothing broken. But he's out. It looked like a house. Whose own had gone. That person who has gone is what Jesus died for. Yes, we are feeding her. So, remain in church. Don't be a goat. Bishop. Grow. Tell your children I was, um, I came to this church. Nations will be gathered before him. And he will separate people from another as a shepherd. Separate sheep from God. Question. Which side will you go? The side. This is when the preacher asks a question. Are you a God? Or a sheep? It is not just something to answer so you can pass today's paper. It is commitment. It is rising when you fall. It is a lifestyle. You have to prove your ship. The way you talk, the way you speak. 
The way you attend church. The way you dress. The friends you pick. The, the most precious book. How can you prove to God you are not a God? And the Bible says after the tax collector after the other guy spoke all the evil words and the sin the tax collector raised his hands and he said Lord have mercy please everybody if you can raise your hands on your feet on your feet and mention your sins I said dear Jesus I come before you I'm a sinner I need a savior wash me with your blood write my name in the book of life write my name in the book of life help me to be sober help me to be sober I raise my hands. Teach me how to be committed. To be a good follower. For when I fall, you pick me up. Take my diseases. Take away my curse. Bless me. Give me lands. Give me cattle. Give me visas. Bless my house. Bless my house. Send down prosperity. But above all, teach me to be a ship. So that on that day, I will not be put with the goods. Lord have mercy. 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 Now touch on your head. Say in the name of Jesus. I pray for long life. I pray for grey hair. I pray for wealth. I pray for good health. I move out of this church. Prosper me, O Father. And I'll be prosperous. I pray that one day I will look back and say 40 years ago I believed God. I went to church and God took my curse away. He blessed me and look and look I still have my faith. I speak. I will see gray hair. I will not die before my time. I will be wealthy. My family shall be blessed. I am sober. I will not die before my time. I am blessed and highly favored. No weapon. Yasula, no weapon. No curse. No disease. No sword. No negative word. Fashioned against me. And my business shall prosper. Dear Lord, wash me. Forgive me. All the bad things. The unholy bed. Forgive me. Today, I walk out of this church with a new heart and a new spirit. I'm blessed. And those who shall see me shall see a blessed man. Shall see a blessed woman. I'll teach my children your ways. Thank you, Father. Now, wait. Raise your hands. The devil will not steal your soul. Satani, You are blessed. You are covered with the blood. You have money. You help the needy. Lands and houses. Healed from any disease. 
like like a mast on a hill the Lord shall raise your family you may be in a terrible situation that you don't deserve you shall sit in an office you don't deserve somebody said that's me